The women's basketball team hosts Ohio State um, at 8 p.m. on Thursday in a game that will be televised by BTN. Badgers then play at Illinois on Sunday at 2 p.m. Head coach Bobby Kelsey is here. We'll have an opening statement and take questions. Uh, we um, are kind of down a little bit with our last three games of uh, not finishing those games out, but we've seen some improvement from our kids. Uh, turnovers are down. Uh, scoring is up. We just have to be able to close the game. So um, it's not for lack of effort. Um, we are um, looking for a third score. We have some guards that are really picking it up for us in Nicole Bauman and Tessa Sitchi. Dakota White has come along as well. I think they're the three most improved scorers in the league of all games uh, and Big Ten games. So we're seeing some positives. The turnovers are down, like I said. Um, over the last, I guess, couple of games, we've gotten them down to about 13 a game. So, um, but unfortunately, we're not seeing the uh, results in the in the win column. But I, I am pleased with some of the progress we've made in the areas that have troubled us throughout the course of the season. So, I will take any questions that you have. Would you say Tessa is a pleasant surprise, or did you see this kind of coming a little bit? Uh, you know, Tessa. T to me, not not necessarily a surprise. I, she's always had it in her. She's a very aggressive uh, player, smart player, really understands the nuances of the game, uh, not just what she's seeing but what she's not seeing, what's developing, what could happen, because I see two little things over here, and she has a good mind for that. Her and Nicole really play off each other. They kind of think alike. And um, so it's not a, a surprise in the sense of her basketball ability. Um, but, you know, she's had a, um, some rough goals here uh, in the off season with some other personal things, and she's had to really just grow up and really um, become more of a leader for our team as opposed to just on the team. And uh, she has the capabilities and she has the toughness that we need out there. She'll guard anybody. Um, she had to guard Powers last night, which is a tall order uh, because she's not as big, probably not as strong as Powers, but she did a good job on her. But that's a all-American type candidate. So, um, but Tessa's really uh, we depend on her a lot. Uh, I know in some of the games she's played 40 minutes and didn't look tired at all. So, um, she's doing the job for us. Um, we just need a little more help. Can you talk about the improved scoring, especially? You know, you do have three of the best most improved scorers in the Big Ten in Nicole, Tessa, and Dakota? Yeah, those are our juniors on the team, um, and uh, Shannon Malone as well, but she's been injured. But the, from a guard standpoint, you need uh, your guards always improving uh, on their ball handling, their passing, and their shooting. And those three have uh, really worked hard in the off season to improve on their uh, shot selection. Um, Nicole has improved her threes dramatically, her pull-up jumper, Tessa, She's uh, scoring on the block really for us uh, with the turnaround, so she's doing a, a good job with that. And shooting three, getting layups, I mean, she's done a great job for us. And Dakota's really come along with her ability to uh, shoot a mid-range shot. Uh, she's not a three-point shooter necessarily, but she definitely is, uh, with her ball handling ability, has been able to create space, therefore allowing her to pull up and hit the mid-range. And we have kind of get trying to get Kayla in, in that in that group because she can score as well, but her footwork's not there as far as understanding when to pull up. She wants to go get a layup, and of course, coming from high school, um, when you, that's all really that's all you have to do because nobody can stop you because you're too quick. When you get to college, that that lane shuts down really fast, and she's had had a little struggle with trying to figure out how to get her footwork where she can not travel but pull up on a dime, and she's still working on that. But those three are, have been very good for us. Brian. You said after yesterday's game you need some help in the post offensively. So how do you go about getting that without forcing it? You know, uh, It's hard. It's hard when you lose your best post player. Cassie, uh, she's, uh, um, she's very capable. She showed in the, in the game, uh, um, Nebraska game, and, and this game that she can score on the block. Um, and I think the more confident she gets with seeing that ball actually go in and her making a post move, she'll do that more. Milena had a nice uh, couple post moves. Um, they just have to just shoot the ball. They have to just put it down and turn and, and put their player in jail. That's what I call it. When you put them underneath the basket, they can't block your shot. And all you got to do is just put it off the backboard. That's what Zowie does. 
She doesn't have all these post moves. She just takes two dribbles, she moves you back, and she shoots the ball. And part of that is her aggressiveness. You have to be aggressive in the post. You can't, you know, mind being hit and banging down there. And for Cassie and Milena, that's that's not something I think they really look for. Like Tessa seeks it out, they don't, you know. But again, they're capable, and we need that um, from them because you, when you're six four and six five, you gotta you gotta get down there and try to mix it up a little bit. And I know they will. They'll do it. They just have to, you know, continue to be confident in their ability to get the ball and, and put it in the basket. Team has struggled with turnovers this season, but late last four games you're only averaging about 13 and a half turnovers. What has improved on this on this team in that area? Uh, I think just watching their play, uh, watching uh, we did a breakdown of uh, turnovers and what other teams were getting off of our turnovers and um, – that was a telling stat because when you put it all on the paper together, they see that wow, oh if we turn it over, they they're getting we're giving points away, and you never want to help a team that's like spotting them twenty points at the beginning of the game, you know, um, that that I think they really saw that that wasn't uh, helping our team, and then some of the turnovers are live ball turnovers. I always say if you're gonna, you know, throw it to a post player, throw it to the band, you know, make sure that they the other team can't get it if you just you know, can't gauge how far to throw it, but um, We've cut down on the live ball turnovers leading to transition baskets, and that's been quite a help. Um, but if, if people move without the basketball, you don't have to turn it over because you always have somebody to, to give you a relief if you get stuck or you get trapped or something like that. So we've been really working on that aspect of our offensive game. As you look at the Big Ten, what do you think of the, the race and, and where you're positioned right now about halfway through? Um, it's very interesting because um, we're looking at it. I don't look at it that much because um, I just take one game at a time. But when we do look at it, everybody's changing and shifting on a game-by-game -game basis. And uh, every night it's a different kind of team. It's a great coach that you have to scheme against. It's, it's great players. And um, just like Coach Ryan said, that it, in, anybody – I mean uh, – Winning on the road is tough, let alone at home. I and mean, we lost last night by six points. I mean, that's a free throw and a, a box out. You know, it's just when you have a home crowd and a team and, and, and very talented players, it's going to be tough. And with some depth, lack of depth, and that, that uh, issue of scoring on the block, we just struggle sometimes to get those wins. But I'm proud of the kids. They played really hard. The coach showed that she's a great scorer in our league. Um, Tessa showed – what she can do, Dakota, you know, she struggled a little bit, but um, she really played hard, and we just needed one more person to kind of give us a couple more points. Jackie, some of her shots were in the basket and came out. It's just, I told her, they're going to fall for you because that's a kid that scored 30-some points in a game, so we know she can score. But if we can get them all going at the same time, then we got something. Anything else for Coach? Thank you. All right. Thanks, Bobby.